Frank. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Step on me, mommy. <laughs> Hey there, either holder. Welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to Hasman Hotel Season 1, Episode 3. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I just realized this, this, they have it as 16 plus on Amazon Prime. I would have thought a show like this would have gotten an 18 plus. <laughs> Not 16 plus. A complete different. I don't think Disney would ever rate this as a 16. This would probably be more like a 21 plus for them. <laughs> Adult series. Uh, but yeah, anyway. All right. <laughs> Kitty. That looks perfect. Happy first week, Sir Pentius. Ah. Pentius was just trying to take over the city with his weird steam pump. I don't think Charlie cares. Charlie is like <laughs> Charlie is like, yeah, you know, you might have tried screwing us over, you know. Okay, so it's been a week since he's been there, so last week, so it's like, yeah, sure, he tried, you know, destroying the, well, destroy it? No, he was just trying to, like, get it in, like, the V's were trying to just get an inside look and all that stuff, so, but she, Charlie doesn't care. She, she like, forgives stuff. I don't, I wonder what her limit is, though. Is she a three strikes and you're out kind of forgiving, or is she, like, as long as you keep seeming like you're gonna change, will she just keep forgiving you? Bullshit a few days ago. Well, I haven't seen him try to pull any of that here. So far. What the hell is that? Oh, hey, Cannon. Did he just call her a purple female? Pench. What'd you just call Vag? Okay, wait. I need it. Can I, like, turn off this information stuff from Amazon Prime? Like, I really don't want to have to see this x ray thing. Over and over. Hold on. I need to see if I can turn this off because that's going to get a little bit annoying. Like, don't be wrong. I like being able to see who's voicing the characters currently talking, but it's also, uh, yeah, hold on. Okay, so it turns out there is no way to turn off this x-ray thing, and if you try to click an arrow, it just literally pops it up here. So either way, it's not going to It's not gonna go away. I don't know why Amazon is not implementing anything to turn that off as an option, but okay, I'll just have to deal with it. Oh, hello, purple female. Why purple? I mean, I guess she's a, a shade of purple, but I never thought of her as purple. I thought of her more like a gray. Okay, yeah, gray purplish color. Never mind. It's my new invention, the Skin Slayer 11,000. Skin Slayer. I'm really looking forward to shooting the other residents. What? Why? Everyone's huh? being too nice. Obviously, it must be a lie. I can sense the it obviously must be a lie. Okay, so he has trust issues for sure. Which I can't blame Pentius for not trusting people. But then again, he's also hmm. So did he become the way he is because he didn't he trusted someone and they like backstabbed him or something? Wait, we're getting a glimpse into like part of his like before he became a sinner. So did he trust someone that backstabbed him or something and that's how he ended up in hell or something like that? What? What does that say? Carmine. They're all Carmines. Why is there like a, there's like a pot with like a glass, like a, like a, not glass, egg on top of it. As in Carmilla Carmine, you are buying Carmilla Carmine? Carmine? Overlord? Uh, of course. Ooh. She's the top weapons dealer in hell. Who's she? Oh, well, that stops right now. Hey! You absolutely the rattlesnake sound. Because they want you to feel welcome. What is that? The, it's, oh. Hey, husk. Oh. Angel! Nifty, please don't. Mm, I have my doubts. Yeah, well, me true. too. You have to trust us. But I don't. Well, trust Charlie, at least. Mm, not before we lay some ground rules. No I love all the hissy weapons. snake noises. No more plotting against other guests, and you need to get rid of these things. Oh, leave the egg boys. Oh, what did I oh. just say? What did I just say? What? Just don't no, give him any devices. Egg boys. Oh, he's protective. Do you want to stay here and redeem yourself? Yes. I think. No more eggs. All right. Oh, oh, look at his face. You've got to go. No. I can't keep you anymore. Okay, boss. No. <laughs> this is how it has to be. They're like, okay, we'll go. Bye. Abusive father. <laughs> Pentius. <laughs> Charlie's just like. What are you eating, Alistair? Alistair? 
Really? Alistair, the radio demon, deer, is eating a deer? What, does Vox eat TVs? Oh. Do you mind? I'm no. In the of what is your room? So you've got giant demon deer antlers for your thing with teeth. You can tell he's definitely of the era that he passed away, like some of his decor, but then there's other parts of it that's like... Yeah, that's that's funny. I also love how his other half of the room is like a forest that like looks kind of mystical and things. Breakfast. Wait, is she going to drop the egg boys off at... It? No, they're not going to... She's not going to do that, right? <laughs> Alistair will kill them. Pentius's eggs are all over the place, and I need you to get rid of them. Oh. Well, in that case, I'd be no, 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 no. Humanely. Hmm. Well, that's a lot less hot. I, <laughs> I was about to say, don't ask him for help. He will be glad to like probably cook him up and eat him if you need him. Care of that on my outing today. Great. That looks disgusting. Hi guys, thanks for coming. It's been brought to our attention that there may be a little a squish tension in the hotel. Tension that can be counterproductive. Hey, don't shoot Nifty. Think that this group could really benefit from what? Trust exercise? Trust exercises. Oh shit! <laughs> I love how Maggie like joins in with Charlie to like like antics, but she's not fully like she's like half heartedly doing it. She's just trying to be that supportive girlfriend, and I love it. <laughs> we rehearsed this. You rehearsed it. Trust exercises. So. What's with the whole, uh... Oh, God, wait. Trust exercise. Who are they going to have who? Are they going to have Husk and Angel Dust do a trust exercise? They, they're not going to do Nifty with Pentius, right? Because Nifty... If Nifty has to catch Pentius, I feel like he'll crush her. Also, the drawings by... The doodles by Angel Dust. He got him in the top left corner throwing the middle finger with LOL and a, you know, schlong. Um, you got bottom left. You suck at drawing. And then you got the angel, uh, heaven globe thingy in the bottom right. That one can't afford me. Gross. Gross. I never think of it, spider. Right. Spider. Well, let's get started. I mean, we know angel dust Charlie? is a spider. Actually, I thought maybe Buzzy you spider. could take the lead on this one. Oh. I trust everyone, so um, maybe you'd be qualified. To... Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. I'm sure you can handle this. Yeah. I believe um, in you. <laughs> sure. I can handle this. I don't no think. Problem. Oh, <laughs> Charlie. What was that? <laughs> start by yourself and then fall backwards. Okay, Follow military. Catches you. Got it? Who wants to go first? Yes, ma'am. Of course, Charlie would go first. Me, me. All right, get on up here. I gotcha. Aggie's the only one that caught her. Everyone needs to catch him, okay? Unless you want me to hurt you. <laughs> Doesn't that defeat the purpose of a trust exercise if you're having to force them to catch Angel? I swear. Is Husk gonna be the only one that catches Angel? Like, are they gonna all, like, except for Charlie, like, are they gonna all split apart? <laughs> Let him fall. I love to suck. I swear to fuck if you say dicks. Popsicles, you sicko. Catch your mind out of the gutter. Uh. Husk got him! No! <laughs> Did he purposely? Did Angel Dust purposely aim to land in Husk's arms? But you know, dicks too. And there you go. Trust over. I don't want to live without my minions. Nobody catch me. <laughs> Nobody catch you. That's great. Wow, you are slimy. Okay. Good you job. are sli uh, Holy slimy. Holy slimy. <laughs> Nifty. Nifty will be easy. She's small. I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. <laughs> They all step away. They all stepped away. I thought it was going to be like, hey, well, like, I guess I, but Nifty, come, even though that was kind of twisted what she just said, um, but I wouldn't, I would have still caught her, like, awkwardly in fear, <laughs> like, <laughs> hesitantly, but, like, they just let her face plant. Yay, pain! <laughs> you good, Nifty? She's doing it again. Never mind. Their their freaking faces in the background is just like dots. <laughs> Working the way we hoped. Maybe we Nifty, you're still going. Trust me here. I got Angel, this, okay? <laughs> I saw you. I got 
just a thing for some mm -hmm. trust building. Uh, what do you like? Have? Where are you going? What's the plan, boss? I like your suit. What are the antlers for? Can I touch your staff thing? Are those your ears or is it your hair? Alistair fans. I can't tell. Who are you? How this day. Oh, hello. Now that's a spider demon. Forget Angel does. This is what I think of a spider demon. Like, this is the spider, like, this is, like, brown recluse, like, dangerous spider. Angel Dust is, like, the jumping spider of spider demons. <laughs> Follow in silence if you value your shell. Greetings, your yolks. Okay, wait, he said his name. I don't want to, like, miss that. Greetings, Vestial. Vestial. Acid rain this afternoon. Oh. Ah! What? I do revel the eyeballs in the alley. Recent flight to fancy. Tell me, how does the oh. fall in such folly? Are they gonna wait? There's one in there. Oh, Frank is up there. Hi, Frank. It was we nice knowing you. We have names. <laughs> you I thought you were just thing one, thing two, and thing three. Frank. Whoa. Whoa. Step on me, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> the music. Oh, Frank, you're gonna die. Oh. Now, if you let her step on you, you'd be dead. Zestial, so good to see you, my friend. Enchanted as always, Camilla. Oh, that's Camilla. Okay. So that's Camilla. You got Vestian, all sorts. So these are the top of this. Are they called overlords? I'm forgetting. Alistair? Yes, I know. I've been absent some time. I'm sure you've all been wondering. Not really. <laughs> it's like we didn't really care. We have assessed that about 16% of the population was lost. Oh. With the angelic legions now returning twice as quickly, I think it prudent. We... Yes, I've got oh, hey, Velvet. Box. Are you doubting me? Yeah, I love her voice. Me? They're all a joke. <laughs> Thank you, V. See you soon. Kisses, darling. No, they have better shit to do than to listen to an old windbag who thinks she's tough shit. I'm here I to heard that kind of pur growl. Oh, the so, shit emojis. As I was saying, on the subject of discussion. <laughs> oh, tasty. Wait, it was. This? We found it during extermination day. If these <laughs> holy rollers can be killed. Wait, they. So she's saying they found it during execution. Was it one of the V's that killed the extermination angel? Or did they find it dead and then just took the head? Okay, so I don't... The boys and I have come up with a full assault. Did she just call them the boys? The boys and I? <laughs> Wait, so it was... Okay, if she's saying that they can be killed, it's gotta, it's gotta be them that... Either hired someone to go and kill extermination or extermination angel, or they did it themselves. Plan. That's the end. That's how I drink sometimes, just to be annoying. Mega proof. It's a dead fucking exorcist. I'd how much more proof do you need? Mayhaps was not by a demon's hand at all. If we did Alice just lick his finger? Oh, that's possible. That's possible. All of them. The dagger noise. I get it. So grandpa is too pussy to fight. Pussy. There's no point, right? Oh. oh what's the matter, fossil? To see to make a real You know, I these all have to be very powerful sinners slash demons, considering you look at how they're talking to each other and it's not like know your place. It's like they're all pretty even with each other. Cause if not, I don't think Velva would be talking to Vesti in that way. Like, no, that it didn't. <laughs> They're all dis, like, well, let's say Velvet, Vestian, Alistair, um, Camila. Um, they like dissing each other, not caring. So obviously there's got to be a level playing field for them all. Not like one's like really powerful over the other. Because if not, I don't think there'd be this kind of talk going on. You better show some respect. Okay. Okay. We got a song. We got a song. Alrighty. Oh my god.
Now, I'm torn between talking through this song or not because of the reception my previous <laughs> reactions got. So, I was like, part of me is like, oh, just listen through the song. Don't say a thing. Like, just react with, like, facial expressions or whatever. But at the same time, um, copyright definitely hits these... Uh, copyright definitely uh, is implemented for this series uh, when it comes to the song. So, it's like, it's kind of hard. And also, with the way my brain works, there's my two, like... Just a quick explanation to those of you who wonder why I pause or talk a, a lot um, um, in my reactions is because I have moved away from doing thoughts after the episode because I'd forget a lot that I wanted to say. Um, so I moved it to where when I notice something or I want to bring something up about a character or a situation or a detail or whatever or something I want to analyze, I do it right then and there. I don't save it for later because I'm 99% chance going to forget about it. So that was worse to me than just pausing during this um so i'm probably gonna still like listen to the song but i'll make my comments but i'll try to pause less during the song like unless there's like little details like in box and alistair's song where you saw like the stuff going by in the bottom where you have to read it it's like i can't read that and listen to what he's singing either so that stuff i'll pause but this one i won't i'll try not to for most of them Check your mm. behavior. spanish no one speaks to Zestial that way. or spanish instrument we're gonna get a velvet song too. Come on, velvet. Oh, velvet, your voice. Okay, I love velvet. Yeah, so she's definitely social media center. All right, I just said that I wouldn't pause unless they had stuff in the background. I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. Okay, what is? Okay, you know what? What I will do is I'll listen to the song without pausing, but just commenting, but then I'll go back to look at the details after it's placed. I love this. Ooh. Ooh, his voice, too. Cocky? Wrinkle face? Not wrong. <laughs> Meow. Bravo, Encore! Great song. I think it might be second favorite after Vox and Alistair's. <laughs> Alright, now let me go back to that part. I want to see what was behind Velvet. There it is. Uh, oh god. Can I even see it without the Voxical Bubble Oval. Velvet, vel Velvito? Like Velvito cheese. <laughs> uh, he's a bad bitch. My baby doll XSX. Best bitch I know. Vox sent money. Good shoot. Social media overlord. Okay, so they are overlords. All right, that's what I thought. I just wasn't sure. I'm like, wait, were overlords like a higher? No, they're overlords. Behave. Uh, something you deliver instantly. It's good. Obsessed. I can't look away. Good song though. I definitely like this one. I like the taste we got of uh I blanked on his name. Spider Guy. Best scene. I like the line too that she said to Camille about you sell the weapons, but yet you stay out of, like pretty much she sell the weapons but she doesn't want to fight. So it's like it kind of reminds me of the companies that sell guns or weapons to in war, but will not partake in them themselves. And it's like, mm, okay. <laughs> Or they want to stay out of the fight or war uh, themselves, but they'll sell the weapons that people will use in those wars. Ah! Those two definitely don't agree with each other. That was a productive meeting. Yes, I agree, Fine. sir. Safe travels back to the nursing home, fuckers. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? We literally just got here. <laughs> so we've been here for less than like what? Two minutes. That's interesting. Mm, oh, sir. Yo, little egg creature, I have a job for you. Oh, yes, Me? Boss. Follow them. His little noises he Angel. makes. What's that whip noise? The actual fuck. No way. <laughs> Pinches! No way! Pinches, what are you staring at? I just, oh. What is going on? You got a werewolf, de a wolf demon hanging from the ceiling. You got something going on back there. You got a paddleboard. 
Yeah, this one. I don't know what they're doing. Pentress, what are you looking? Are you looking at what th these two are? I think. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Trust them BDSM, baby. Uh, I. He's not wrong. There is trust in BDSM, um, for sure. Especially like, okay, you definitely like it. It, it definitely needs trust because then you have to make sure that, like trust that partner that they won't hurt you beyond, uh, what you want or what you ask for. So there is trust there. So I see where he's going with that. But um, <laughs> I don't think any of them want to do that with each other. Maybe Charlie and Faggy, but I don't. I don't think. Yeah, Nifty Husk. Um. Pentress do. Then those formed through bondage. That's ha ha, Angel. No but Angel, love the enthusiasm. Is that like a that should be like a real like advertisement thing for BDSM? Uh, hmm. I'm not into this. Be into this. Uh look at the oh. Okay, Husk, I was wrong. Oh, he's getting massaged. Of course Nifty would be into this. <laughs> he's like Nifty comes out with the whip and stuff or paddleboard. He's like, no, <laughs> this is dude. I just wanted to massage. Oh, um, oh my, you're being touched by a Medusa snake demon. Uh, Charlie, um, Baggy, is she gonna get protective? Uh, oh, Charlie. Uh, I can't fucking believe. I <laughs> Baggy's like, no, nope, get away from my girlfriend. Disgusting. It's no big deal. Pen just looks like. You know, maybe I. <laughs> I told you you could trust me, and I'm not gonna let you down. Just need to drag gonna do it the way I was taught, which is stronger than the trust between comrades in arms. Buckle up, buttercups, because today you military all the way. You I can't fight without my minions are gonna survive. Wait, patches. Let's get stuck out of the hell of this one. Nifty's like, throw me. Let's get freaking. He's out of there. He's like, peace. <laughs> I'm so out. This is the only way not Nifty Wifty. No, not. Nifty's face. She's freaking precious. Time, time. And Nifty's like, I want to go over. Throw me over. I want to go. Like, the other two didn't want to, but Nifty, the, one who, the only one who does, <laughs> doesn't get thrown. Uh, by Nifty. By he he wants to rush it. Or she. I took charge today. Is it he or she? I don't know. I'm supposed to never fail you. Oh, Vaggy. I love how this they're having like a heart to heart conversation. You just hear freaking Pentius and Angel Dust in the background, just like. Well, you got Pentius kind of like freaking out. You got Angel yelling at him like they're arguing back and forth. If I can't help you, what's the point of me? Vaggy, don't. Oh, what's the point of me, Vaggy? What do you mean? She loves you. Say that. You do so much. It's just being I'm there. Sorry, I'd, I'd like to be alone for a minute. No, oh, don't you put drama between the girls right now. We're only three episodes in. Well, at least these two survived. Made it. Let's go home, guys. Way to go, you guys. Ugh. I just walked up all those stairs. <laughs> you can jump down or throw yourself. Oh, poor Pentius. Wait, where's Nifty? Nifty? It was by thy hand, was it not? Let's not talk about it. Mom. Oh, twas by thy hand. So Camille's the one who killed the If I, unless I'm because uh, isn't it twas by thy hand wasn't it's not by Vestiel, then it's by her, right? So So she killed the extermination angel? Um I did what I had to do. Okay, so it was her. What weighs on your soul? Why not let your strength be known? Unless she's protecting someone. But when that thing attacked, mm, defense. I like this ballot. So she's protecting them. Faggy. Okay, I like Baggy's singing role in this song. Or singing part. She's singing about Charlie for sure. Aw. Oh. 
Both thinking about protecting someone, something. This is like a ballet. ballet. I forgot what it's called. But wait, I just realized, why was Vaggy looking at the heaven globe thing? Why was she looking at that and singing that? Because I was thinking, she's practicing Charlie, which I'm pretty certain she still is. Like, when she's all help you with your dreams and protect be your armor and stuff. I'm pretty certain she's talking about Charlie, but it's interesting she's looking up the heaven globe while doing that. So is there, unless there's somebody else in heaven she's also protecting? Mm. Thank you, boys. This smells like fun. I just saw a condom. Um. Interesting. Let's keep this between us. <laughs> you got it, Gaia! We'll figure it out together. Together. Oh, I mean, uh, together. Exercise did for them. <laughs> hey, they're all laughing. Then, with the dismembered arm, yes, <laughs> that was particularly unpleasant. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> of course, you did, Nifty. At least you can take a beating like a champ. You did okay, little kid. <gasps> he got the Patton kid name, nickname. Ah, he's been welcomed by Husky. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a little bit of bonding going on. I don't know about Nifty though. How about the Alistair? Build the radio the sound. Eggs, I see. Yes, well, the they've been useful. To be useful. Why don't you give them back to Pentius? After today, I guess I can trust you with them. But seriously, yeah, give them back, big no boys. More weapons. Now go clean my quarters this instant. Up. Oh. Maybe things are we sure that he missed the eggs or he misses slaves? <laughs> ah, how was your day with Alice? He sleeps with them. Uh, the dinosaur. Mm, dinosaur. That's nice. And I was not supposed to talk about it. Oh, I'm so Frank. Sure, and maybe you'll meet Martians tomorrow. But now is time. Ben just doesn't believe him. Good night, they all curl baby. up together. Oh. Benches. Mm -hmm. All right, Pentius is a, a, a sweetie pie. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I thought I was going to automatically play. I was going to say no. Bro, you cut me off from the time. No, you don't do that. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back, Prime. Yes, take me back to three. I want to watch the rest of the credits. Thank you. <laughs> Lord. I'm going to see if there's anyone else I know. Because I want to see who. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to see the credits. Who has the voices? Score by Evan Aldorette and Gooseworks. Okay, Gooseworks is still on it. Respectless written by Sam. Sam. Sam's like, I think, gonna be the one that's gonna be the main writer for like all the songs. Did they not show any voices? I think they only did in the beginning. Okay, so that was the third episode for Hasman Hotel. Okay, um, let me get into my thoughts. <laughs> all right, so. Oh, that was a establishing episode okay so that one definitely was uh more getting it back not back sorry we didn't really get backstory on anyone so i don't know what i'm saying i mean actually we did we kind of sort of a little bit for vaggy like we see that just from the way she uh did trust exercises and stuff she's military so i'm i'm gonna guess like i know it's been rumored that vaggy used to be an extermination angel or an angel and stuff and, and considering in that song of hers she was like singing up at the head i wonder if she did come from heaven and she's like a fallen angel or like converted like left heaven to join I, I feel like that's gonna be a case i think so because it's like i like, i really want to know how vaggy and charlie met which i'm sure we're gonna get like backstory on um but we got to see more of the overlords like who like it's not like obviously it wouldn't have just been alistair like Pentius obviously isn't an overlord because he wasn't invited to that meeting. Um, but I think what it is is Pentius wanted to be an overlord, like be up there. So that's why he kept like trying to defeat Alistair and uh, or Alistair and he kept failing miserably. Um, so he got, he got uh, Zen. Uh, I'm forgetting his name. It's, like, it's either, I was thinking Pentius, but I'm like, is it Pentius? No. Is it Vestian? Zestian? Pretty sure it was like Zestian or Vestian. Um, but the other, the spider overlord. Um, so we got him. We got Camille, who's like a weapons 
seller. Uh, but interesting how she wants to protect all of them. And, and so I wonder if that's why she sells the weapons, is to, to at least arm the citizens, the sinners and stuff, so they could protect themselves from extermination angels, possibly. Um, and so it wasn't... It, it just like that. It wasn't intended. Like, somebody didn't do a hit or, like, purposely kill the extermination angel. She was protecting herself. Um, and that's going to be kind of like... Even if I think... Uh, that's revealed to the angels that uh, I was just defending myself. They're not going to give a crap. They're going to say, you're supposed to just accept your fate. You're a sinner. We've made the deal that so many of you die, or as many of you die as possible on extermination day. So, you know, no defending, just die. Uh, yeah, that's not going to go over well at all. Um... So I wonder, is there, there going to be a thing where if they find out that Camille is the one that killed Extreme Angel, they're going to like, like the overlords and maybe other regular sinners are going to like step up and try and protect her or something? I mean, interesting. But Alistair knows now. Pench has heard of it, but he thinks Frank was just lying about it or making it up. Also, can I just say Pench is just a sweetie? Like, he, 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 um, like, <laughs> he's like, evil but in a almost like trying to make himself top dog uh doesn't want to be looked down upon uh has trust issues kind of stuff like he's not a f just pure i want to be ruler i want to kill things I and all that stuff like alistair more fits that bill um <laughs> like i i wonder if we're gonna get anything from alistair where it's gonna reveal that like he does like, he grows the care for Charlie and everyone in the hotel and the hotel itself, which I think it will. I think, I don't know if he'll be exactly, like, soft about it, but I feel like it'll he'll do it in a way that's more like he protects the hotel. But then when somebody questions about it, it's like, so do you care about us? He's like, he's like, I see it as a means for entertainment. Like, he'll, like, act like he doesn't, but he actually does kind of thing. But he won't outright be like, yeah, okay, I care about you guys. Like, I, I'm softening up to you guys kind of thing. Um, I also like that. So this episode is all about trust when it comes to like, you know, Angel, Husk, Nifty, I don't know about. Like, Nifty went from like, like, I've, I've seen a couple of people will say that Nifty's like craziness is kind of like surprising them. And they're like, they expected her to be kind of crazy, but not like this crazy where it's like, she, she's scary crazy, like psychotic crazy. Like, talking about killing mother insects in front of their babies and enjoying seeing them, see, like seeing that. Um... Like, her wanting to get into the fight, her being the bad boys and BDS. Like, she just seems very, like, extreme, like, from the nifty we... What, but not from the nifty we knew, because we only saw in the pilot, so we... I mean, is that really a good way to, like... Okay, no way we're wrong. We kind of saw with Angel. Like, Angel, we got a good uh, estimation from his personality that he may be, like... He may talk dirty and all that stuff, but he does have that soft side to him and stuff, and he's more, like... Like, when he went to go... Com he almost comforted Harley... Um, but then he, like, he, like, went, reached out to, like, say something, but then he's, like, never mind, and then he backed off and walked away. So we did see that side to, Char uh, to Angel Dust, so it's, like, we knew that. Husk just came across as a complete, like, like, go after herself, like, I don't care about anything kind of thing. But we see in this episode that that's not fully him, you know, it's, like, hey, you know, you did good kid. So, the, honestly, Husk is kind of going the way I thought he would, where he's got this really gruff, tough exterior, but then he's actually, like... He's got that personality of, like, when you earn his acceptance or whatever, it's like, yeah, you did good, kid. <laughs> um, uh, Nifty is just more crazy than the pilot. So, honestly, Nifty doesn't surprise me in the sense of, like, oh, this is out of character for her. Like, she, it felt like she could have gone down this path, and that's what she, that's what's happening. But it doesn't seem like she's dangerous crazy. Like, she's going to hurt any of the one, like, any uh, anyone in the hotel kind of thing. It's more like... Don't be the one that she attacks. Like, don't be the one that's her target, because then she's, uh... <laughs> she's scary. Um, Baggy is, uh, like, hasn't changed much either. Like, she's definitely the... Like, loves Charlie. She's protective of her and all that stuff, which we already saw in the pilot and everything. So, Charlie is Charlie. So, like, honestly, most of the characters are still the way they were from the pilot. Like, we got a good glimpse into their characters in the pilot. Um, I would say... Pentius is the only one we didn't fully 
see because he didn't have like a huge role in the pilot um alice was just a, right now takuki to characters because uh he's i don't know he, he he's alistair so it's like it's gonna take a, i feel like it's gonna take a bit for us to see anything more than just him wanting to like be the oh, like trying to get his way higher up in the over i don't know what his goals are actually because considering it's interesting that i think he just wants to I don't know what it is is it control i don't think it is because he doesn't seem like the kind of kind of guy that wants control over all the overlords it's more like well no it actually would be because when vaggy talked about his history or backstory to angel she said that he toppled overlords and stuff so i wonder if he is aiming to like be at the top of overlords at the table so he's like trying to find out oh who's the one that killed the extermination angel oh well now i know that it was camilla i can use that as blackmail against her so i feel like that's what alice was gonna do um, it's also interesting that Fox and, um, Valentino weren't there. So, I'm guessing, um, Velvet went there in their place, just by herself, because, like, they did, Camille did ask where are the other two Vs, and she's like, oh, they're, they're not wasting their time coming down here. So, they're obviously overlords, too. So, but they just didn't want to waste their time coming down to the table. So, it's kind of funny that I feel like to, to Velvet... Vox and Valentino, they look at this meeting stuff as kind of like old fashioned where it's like, oh, you guys still hold meetings? Why can't we just, you know, call or fate, you know, FaceTime, talk over cameras? Why do we have to meet in the meetings? It's so old fashioned kind of thing. <laughs> I feel like that's why she was like, oh, they're not going to waste their time going down here. That or it's because they know that they're not going to change their ways. Um, and they're like trying to do things the old way. And so they're not interested. Whereas Velvet is kind of like coming there. She came there to um, talk about like we should fight against these extreme angels and so then once she got rejected for that then it was like oh, i'm gonna break into the song and talk like you know and all that stuff um yeah i think that's um i think that's everything that i wanted to bring up for thoughts like yeah like overall i would say plafus episode was good i like the i like the trust fall it wasn't just trust fall i mean of course it wouldn't this is hell i wouldn't expect it to just be oh fall and catch me trust fall exercises um, I kind of wish you had gotten to see more of the, like, actual, uh, trust fighting exercise from Vaggy, where you see them all down there kind of fighting and everything. But it, it was, it was still good. Um, uh, characters, everyone's great. Um, I like, Camille's interesting. Um, I like that she's not, like, just a warlord, like, I sell weapons, but I don't want to participate. It's more like she just doesn't, she doesn't want to trigger a war. It's just, I'm arming my citizens or my people. So that way they can defend themselves if need be. But um, I'm not trying to start a war. To the point that she's trying to... She wants to keep this... Uh, the fact that she killed an extermination angel. Even though it was in defense. It's a secret because she knows that once it gets out. She'll probably kill and the sinners will be punished. Which they already are without her realizing. Um, I, I At least I think without her realizing. Um, uh, Destian. Destian. Um, this uh, spider demon. Um, I like him. He's interesting. Uh, so I wonder how old he is, considering everyone was calling him, like, Fossil. Not everyone, but, like, most of them were calling him, like, Old Fossil and that kind of stuff. So I wonder if he's actually older than even Alistair is. Which, no. He actually has to be older than Alistair, because Alistair even said, brought up that he, that he was honored that, um, a compliment came from Destian. Um, I think I'm pretty sure it was Destian. I think it was a Z. Um, but... Like, Alistair considered a compliment because um, Zestian is, like, older than him. So, I wonder by how much. Because Alistair's, like, the 1930s. So, could possibly uh, Zestian be, like, 1910s? Maybe? I can't see it being 18... Could be 1800s because the way he was kind of dressed and everything and kind of reminded me of, like, maybe, like, 1890s. Like, 1900? So, maybe, like, that around there. Um, but... No, we got we got a couple other overlords. We had the big giant step on me, mommy, uh, fox, wolf, demon thing. Um, then you had uh, no, that's all of them. I mean, you had Camille, Zesty, and the, you had the two other overlord girls that were with Camille. That were like, um, I don't know if they're her daughters or something, or just like friends or something or that. I don't know. Um, you got more of the egg boys, which, oh, the egg boys are, like, dumb in, like, a sweet way. Like, they're dumb sweet. 
<laughs> it's like, don't hurt the egg boys. They're just innocent. They don't know what's going on, really. They're just kind of like, they're like, I'm up for anything. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you want me to go jump off a building? I'll do that. I just love to, I don't know if they actually grow attachments to anyone either, because you think of, I mean, consider, I don't know, like, Pen just treats them like slaves, but at the same time, then you see him, like, curled up and sleeping with them and treating them like his son, like, children. Um, but at the same time, he doesn't, like, care what really happens to them to an extent. Like, they're expendable, and he uses them like, oh, go clean my room kind of thing. So, I don't know <laughs> with that. Um, uh, I think that was all the characters I can think of. Um, I'll be curious to see if the whole Vaggy Charlie thing, like, with Vaggy feeling like she needs to protect Charlie and, or, and that she was failing her. Stuff. I wonder if that's going to be brought up again. Like, I know they kind of talked about it and, like, patched it up at the end. Um, but I wonder if that's gonna be brought up again. I really think Charlie came from heaven. I really feel like that. I feel like she may have been possibly even a, a, a maybe not extermination, extermination angel, but an angel that, um, Charlie met somehow through either maybe a meeting or something like that. And so, I, I really want to know what their backstory was. Um. But yeah, uh, anyway, so plot was great, characters were great, uh, animation was great as usual. Um, music, the second song uh, with uh, Zestian and Camille and Vaggy. Uh, Vaggy, I would say, is my favorite part of that song. I, I don't know for some reason, like, it, it was funny because Vaggy's part and um, the first song of the first episode uh, with Charlie, I actually didn't really care for Vaggy's part. It was just like, oh, cool, she's, so she's singing. I could really hear um, Stephanie. Stephanie was the voice actress's name, right? I know she's from. All I know is that she's from Encanto. So um, she sounded a lot like uh, Maribel from Encanto in the first song. Uh, so that one, I was like, eh, it's okay. Uh, like I, I it, she was okay in there. But this one, I don't know. She just felt she sounded a lot smoother and a lot more. I don't know. I liked her voice in that in the the, the song for this episode more, way more. Um, like she was my favorite part of that song. Uh, now for the song that Velvet sang and Camila sang, or Camila sang, um, I really like that song. I, would say uh, I already said it before. I think that would be my second favorite song in the series so far. Like number one is Vox and Alistair. Um, so, and then this one. Um, but yeah, overall, a uh, great episode. Um, I'm kind of scared to watch the fourth one because I've heard that it's a tearjerker. Um, but that it also has like angel dusk and husk and stuff, so I'm really curious on what that's gonna have. I hope something like bad doesn't go down. I'm kind of <laughs> I'm scared. I don't I don't want feels like this early. Like we're not well. I guess because is I think it's like eight episodes for this season, possibly or is it twelve? If it's eight episodes, then we're already episode four is halfway through, so that makes sense. But I feel like eight episodes feels like too short. I don't know. Yeah, episodes. <laughs> I think I don't know. Episodes feels yeah. Please tell me we get like twelve, not eight. Eight feels too short. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link is in the description and pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep ring bright. See ya.